is going on, everybody? Dan on Felter checking out. Now, this is a good band name. Within the Ruins. Because that's one of those band names like you never would have thought of. You never would have thought of it. It sounds kind it sounds kind of gangster. It's kind of badass. And you never would have thought of it. Within the Ruins. That's brilliant. Gods Amongst Men. See, now that is a also a pretty cool sounding if it was a band name. But it's kind of obvious. Like that one, it people, I almost guarantee if I YouTube it, there's got to be a band called Gods Amongst Men. But Within the Ruins? That's fire. Very unique. This comes from James, a Patreon. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. Let's check this out. Watch I talked so heavy about how much I like the name and then the song kind of blows. It's, it's possible. That's a nasty little double pedal pedal rhythm they got going on right there. I need a minute. I need a minute. First of all, has there ever been a metal singer that looks so different than his voice? I mean, he probably has, but I'd have to think. Like, he looks like he'd be the manager at a FedEx or a Kinko's. But nah. Like, if you took, a, of course, he's covered in tattoos, but if you took the tattoos off, the man looks like he'd be at working at Kinko's. This is crazy. Or Ikea. Like, yeah, he'd be a manager at Ikea. But holy shit. First of all, yes, harsh vocals, phenomenal. I really liked his, I don't want to call them clean vocals, but his clean vocals. You know what I mean? Like, what he used for what I think is the chorus that just occurred? Do the chorus or pre-chorus. I think it's the chorus, though. Um, They weren't harsh vocals, but they weren't yet clean. They're a nice little mix, and you don't see that very often. I dug that. I dug that. And then they had this little breakdown going on here. Added some little, some little sound effect to it. I don't even know what it is. There's a little digital effect I'm hearing. I, I gotta, I gotta hear it more to figure out exactly what the fuck that is. But it's awesome, whatever it is. Yeah, it's something they're doing with the guitar. It's nasty.
First of all, that solo, awesome. But shout out the bassist, though. Normally, the bassists kind of get, like, pushed to the background hardcore, like, way in the back when a guitar solo is happening. He did not. Like, he low-key was cooking as well. Flip, flipping the fucking bass, man. Talk to me. Oh. That's nasty. I don't know what the fuck they're doing to that guitar, but it's 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 like geeking out right now. It's like a guitar is on acid. Talk to me. Shout out to that breakdown by the drummer. That's a cheat code. That's a cheat code. I've said it before. When a drummer hits a cymbal and grabs it so it quickly, like with a sharp stop, and hits it again and stops it, the air in the room, like, gets a little tighter. Everything, like, you can feel it. It's like, oh shit. It's like, it, the blood moves differently in your veins when that's happening. I don't know why, it just does. It just does. And what's weird is usually when that happens, like a big drop happens right afterwards. It's like setting up a quick, like, explosion. They didn't. They didn't. And he did it multiple times. It was like a little tease and a tease. He did it multiple times. And then the singer did, you know, it's one of the, it's one of the rules of metal. If a singer ever yells, go, or uh, cleans his throat, or jump the fuck up, Usually, a huge, like, room-shaking type of explosion happens in the song. And you gotta just fucking go apeshit. He did the, he did the obvious, the, the throat clearing. The disturbed, wah, that shit. And it, it didn't. It didn't. They're, they're, they're playing with the fucking laws of metal here. Oh! Oh! It's that the guitar thing, the way it's tuned or whatever effect they're putting on it. It's almost it's almost like instead of you're plugging your guitar into an amp into like an amplifier, you're plugging into like a an NES system, <laughs> like an NES Mini Classic, and you just HDMI cord, plug it in the back, and somehow have like the NES now going to like a speaker. It's crazy, but it works so well. When it probably you you would think that's just an odd thing. It works fucking perfectly. That was one of the more unique metal songs I've heard in a while. 
just the whole way the way it was put together. It's very unique, very unique. They broke, they I won't say broke, they bent a lot of standard rules of of, of music. Kind of like played with it, bend the, the rules. Worked really well. I really liked it. My only fear. It is possible this might be their best song. It kind of felt like it. You know what I mean? And by the look on the singer's face and the way the drummer was like moving, you could feel the confidence. Kind of like they know they're playing their best one. It might not be. But it could be. It kind of, it kind of, it could be. It kind of felt like it. Either way though, it was fucking awesome. James, appreciate you, homie. If you are still here, then you are a real one. That was fire, man. That, that was absolutely fire. Oh, oh, what am I doing? I almost forgot. I keep forgetting sometimes. So sometimes songs do make the playlist. And I just forget to say it. <laughs> I do. It happens. I'll remember. A real one. But yeah, that's, that's easy playlist material. Come on now. Because even with it being harsh vocals, basically the entire song, it was like shockingly easy and smooth to listen to. Like, shockingly. <laughs> 